Okay, suppose we've got to solve this quadratic equation to get a value of x and then substitute that the two values we'll get into this expression here. First off, we'll put it into the quadratic formula. So I'll do it here on a fraction. So I want 5, I have to put plus to start with, square root of 5 squared, or technically negative 5 all squared, minus 4 times by 1 times by negative 2. And that's all over 2a, or 2 times 1. Or well, I should put down 2, but I put 2 times 1. And that equals, and you see it's like this, but it puts a root first, not a problem. If I want to know what that approximately equals, then I press the approximately equal button, and that would work out the approximate value 5.372. But now I want to go back and work out the other one, so I can go back up again until I get to the required equation. That's the one I want. So I'm going to go back into, into that equation and then go back all the way along it uh, until I get to the, it's better on a real calculator, the emulator is a little bit more flaky. And change it to a minus there and enter that. And it gives me the other one again it puts a root first and if i want to i can press enter to get a rough of an enter that and then press a rough value to give me the minus 0.37 as i've got here but now i want to work out y and y is 3x plus 1 and this is about like so i can just put down now three times so three times and i can go back to my previous value i can go back and up and up until i find the 5 plus root 33 I can see exactly what I'm doing, not that one. That's the one I want, 5 plus root 3 is 3 over 2. So enter that, and you can see what I've got. So I've got 3 times x, and I have to add 1. And enter that, and that gives me what I've got down here. But you can also see exactly how, how it works out, because it puts in the actual number you've got there. And then obviously I want to do the other one, so I'm going to do 3 times and i'm going to go back up until i find the one with the negative or i had it there that's the one i want so three times that enter that puts it in there plus one and it gives me that value which is what i've got here minus three root 33 plus 17 over two of course i could use the polynomial solver so if i go second polynomial solver and solve the quadratic then i can actually solve this and i should get that answer here and this one here if I solve this. So a is 1, enter that. b is negative 5, so enter that. And c is negative 2, enter that. And then solve. And that now says solve. It gives me this one here, the negative 0.3. And it's also given me the other one here. Of course, if I go down again now, I can then solve them. I'll, I'll store them. So this one was the first one, which you called x1. And I'm going to put that into my second memory. So I'm going to put that into y. Into y there. And this one here I'm going to solve and put into x. So I solve those. And I'm not going to do that, so I can get rid of that. And I'm going to quit. And now... I can get these two values because I can just do five times, I can do three times x. So I can do three, oh, missed, clear that. I can do three times and put my x, click that button, plus one, and that will give me this one here, the 17.1. Or I could do three times and then choose y. I'm clicking that one, I click it twice, it takes me to the Y, and enter that. Well, I should have added one, so I'll add one, and that gives me this value here. In fact, I quite like these things, how they rotate all the way through. So, for example, if I clear that, if I want to have 5 factorial, I'll click 5, and then the factorial button. But I might have decided I didn't want the factorial, I wanted NCR, so I just click that button again. Or if I wanted NPR, I click it again, and it comes to that. 
and I can cycle way through. Now I do want 5 factorial, I want 120, so it's there. I can do the same with sine to minus 1 and everything. And so sine to the minus 1, if I do sine of, I don't want sine, and then so I want sine to minus 1, I just click it again, and it cycles through. Then it actually goes to shine, and shine to the minus 1, before it comes back to, to sine, and I can do that. A few of the reasons why I like this calculator.